What is going on, everybody? It is your boy Bad Dog here with the post game Giants video. Thank you for clicking on the video. I really do appreciate it. As always, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up, helps out the video huge. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, all that good stuff. Giants have had a very good season so far, but today was not their day. Obviously, a really, really, really uh, piss poor performance, uh, to say the least. This was by far their worst game of the season. I don't think it's close. This looked more like the Giants of last year than this year. Detroit's now won three in a row, so I'm not taking anything away from Detroit. Um, but when you're the Giants and you're seven and two and you're playing in one of the toughest divisions in the NFL and you have the Lions at home, a team that's won three games, all you got to win. You got to win the game. I mean, there, there's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You got to find a way to win. And today, they found many ways to lose. And we'll start with the turnovers. I mean, the turnovers are terrible. We were not good enough to overcome turnovers and mistakes. And we made three of them today, three huge turnovers. Um, you know, Daniel Jones has been really good this year as far as taking care of the ball today. It didn't happen. The interception where he didn't see Aiden Hutchinson drop back into coverage and, uh, you know, ended up throwing the interception. That was big. That was a big, big momentum swing because Detroit went in and scored a touchdown. Um, I'm not going to blame the officiating. The officiating was crap in this game, though. I mean, the officiating was bad. I, I mean, I, I go back to them scoring a touchdown. It was third down and one from about the five or the four, and, and Panay Sewell moved early, and the officials missed that. And, uh, you know, it should have been third and six. I don't know what would have happened there, but it was just little things like that. But today the Giants just were not good enough. You know, Daniel Jones had another ball sail on him through another interception. Um, you know, so all you guys and girls that are just uh, so happy that Daniel Jones failed, so you can say you were right, have at it today. You know, I, I have always said I don't care if Daniel Jones is good, great, and I don't really care. I want to win football games. I, I, I'm not, I'm not on here trying to be right uh, about things. I don't care if I'm right or wrong. I care about the Giants winning. Uh, at the end of the day, so that's all I give a damn about is them winning football games. I don't care how they win. I, I don't care who's the hero, who's not the hero. I don't care. I'm a team guy. I'm not a player guy, and I'm not one of these guys who's going to sit here and root against my players to go, oh, I told you, because, you know, I've had to come on here and eat a lot of crow with how good Daniel Jones has played this year and say, hey, listen, man, I was wrong. Daniel Jones does well. I'm not a guy that sits here and said, oh, I told you he stinks. He's going to suck, and then he sucks. I'm like, I told you so. I don't care. I want to win football games. But he wasn't good today, okay? He wasn't, and that's just a, that's just a reality of it. Daniel Jones did not play well today. It was probably his worst game of the year. Um, it definitely was as far as turning the ball over. He threw two interceptions the entire year coming into this year. And then, you know, the Giants get a little bit of momentum. There's a sliver of hope, maybe. And, you know, Hodgins fumbles. And Detroit gets it back. And they go right down to score. But every single facet of this game today with the Giants was terrible. Their special teams is terrible. Gillen punting like garbage. Gano missing two extra points. You know, those type of things. Poor kickoff coverage. You know, D Detroit getting good field position on, on kickoff returns and just really bad there. Uh, we didn't sniff uh, Jared Goff. We didn't get close to him. Every time he brought a blitz, he beat it. We missed tackles like nobody's business. Bad penalties. I think the Giants had seven penalties in the first half. And, and, you know, Dan Campbell actually declined two of them. So we actually had nine penalties in the first half. Drop passes. Uh, just, like I said, missed tackles. And everything that they could have done wrong today, they did. And a lot of teams, even when you're really good, have a hard time overcoming a minus three turnover differential. We're certainly not good enough to overcome that. It showed up today. The better team won today. Detroit was definitely better than us today. Uh, in the trenches, you know, they were able to stuff Saquon Barkley, which everybody's going to say, that's the Giants game plan. That's, you know, how to stop the Giants. Yeah, I don't think anybody's denying that. I think everybody knows who the Giants are uh, by Thanksgiving, right? But that doesn't mean that you can just go in there and do it. Personally, I thought Dable had a bad game. I, I Maybe not Dable in general, but like the, the coaching staff. I thought this was the first really bad uh, coaching, you know, like coaching they had. I, I thought that Daniel Jones should have, 
run a little bit more. I feel like they could have had, I think Detroit was so fixated on Saquon Barkley. Have Daniel Jones who would have run you know, a few more RPOs and, and taken off with his legs a little bit more. We would have gotten some more yardage. We could have opened it up a little bit more for Saquon Barkley. So I, I felt like the game plan was bad. And what really took the wind out of my sails was a Dory Jackson getting hurt on the, on the punt returns, man. I, I hated that he was returning punts. And I know Richie James had a fumbling problem. I just wish Adore Jackson was back there, just fair catching the ball. I said this when Chris and I did the show with Patricia Trainer. It's just dangerous. I don't like when you have your superstars back there returning punts. Unless like you have a dangerous return guy and you're down by a touchdown or down by four or something, and you need a big punt return. That's it. I, I hate I hate your stars being back there, especially when we're so beat up. We lost Wandale Robinson probably for the year. Finally, the kid has a really good game, over 100 yards. He was the first giant receiver this year to have 100 yards. Looked like he tore his ACL. Dory Jackson sprained MCL out three to five weeks. Tyree Phillips, he also got hurt. Pinnock was hurt. How many guys, how many injuries can one team take in a season? I don't even know who's on the team anymore. I don't even know who's on the field. It's like the Giants, instead of giving away free sodas, they'll say, hey, you want to try out with the Giants? They'll start picking people out of the stands pretty soon. man. we just cannot stay healthy. This team just consistently gets hurt week in and week out. We can't stay healthy. It is unbelievable the amount of injuries that ravage this team year in and year out. But that Adoree Jackson injury hurts so bad you got five divisional games coming up here in the next seven games. You really gonna need that guy. Now we don't have. I don't know if Moreau got her. I think Moreau got her. Maybe we're down to Rodarius Williams and McLeod out there covering. Uh, it is just insane um, the amount of injuries that this New York Giants team has had to deal with. But I hate the, I hated the Dory Jackson back there return of punts, and now it's going to cost us. And I, I don't know how much it's going to cost us or how long he's going to be out, but that absolutely sucks. And that is a major blow to a secondary that's already beat up. Obviously, we lost Xavier McKinney to the ATV accident. It just doesn't fail. There's some kind of curse with this Giants team and in all these injuries. It is unbelievable. Um, but I felt like the coaching staff had a, had a bad day today. I also felt like Wink's blitz were ill time. His blitzes were ill timed. And I, I just feel like overall as a coaching staff, they did a bad job. It's the first time I could say that this year, listen, they're never going to be perfect. They're not going to call a perfect game plan. The giants are far from a perfect team. I'm not sitting here saying, Oh, you know, Dable sucks or Daniel Jones sucks. And these guys are terrible. Listen, man, this is the first year of a rebuild. We're seven and two. We're well, seven and three now. This is gravy, man. This is gravy. This is a team, though. You look at the schedule and go, we should be able to beat Detroit. And I feel like we should have been able to beat Detroit. But you can't do that when you don't play fundamentally sound football, especially when the new, when you're the New York Giants. But you know, listen, we're seven and three. Everything from here on out is gravy. I thought we'd win seven games all year. We can still win. If listen, man. If you go into this, the last two games, or you were going into this Detroit game, you said you're going to be one and one in the next two games. Detroit, Dallas is a team that I'd rather beat. Now, I'm not saying we're beating Dallas. Obviously, we're beat up on paper. Dallas is a way better organization, not organization. They're, they're a way better uh, roster than we have. That don't mean we can't win. That doesn't mean we can't win. Um, but you have to play a lot better. And if you do come out of there with a win in Dallas, then you're going to forget about all of, all about the Detroit game. But what starts concerning you is Washington is playing really good football. As a matter of fact, I think Washington's playing the best football in the division right now. Um, they crushed the Texans today. Philadelphia snuck out of Indianapolis with a win, and and obviously on a 40 yard pass interference call. Of course, you know that they're going to come out of there with a win. But I don't, I don't feel like Philadelphia is playing better than Washington right now. And Washington beat them. So Washington's right behind us now. We have two big games of Washington. Come, I mean, all these games are big. We're five divisional games. And when we're just beat up, and we really are, if we have any chance to win these games, we have got to do what we were doing, and that's execute fundamentally. And today didn't happen. The energy seemed a little flat. 
and, and things seemed a little sloppy. And most Giants fans that I know, it, we you talk about it, you concern yourself that this was a trap game against the Lions um, for the simple fact that you are human. I mean, you think Dayball is going to come out and, you know, they're going to not allowed to have, but you're human. It's a short week and, and Dallas is right there. This was the absolute definition of a trap game. Um, I didn't think that we'd get blown out the way we did. I, I certainly didn't think that um, Detroit would completely outplay us in, in the, uh, in the, you know, the trenches, but they did. Aiden Hutchinson was fantastic today. And um, again, I'm not taking anything away from Detroit you know, whatsoever, but uh, their defense was a lot better today than it had been all year. Uh, they did a great job of stopping Saquon Barkley. And obviously when the Giants can't run and you force them to be one-dimensional, it's going to be very difficult. It's very difficult for any team to, to beat you when you're one-dimensional, but especially this team, we really are not throwing to a lot of really good receivers. I mean, like you said, Wandale Robinson had a really good game. I'm happy for Kenny Galladay that he actually caught a couple of passes. Maybe he maybe he becomes somebody. We're obviously going to need him down the stretch now that we lost Wandale Robinson. Darius Slayton continues to do what he does. He's been playing really well. Um, but, you know, we're, we're beat up on that offensive line. We're, we're beat up in the secondary. Uh, we're beat up at wide receiver. I mean, we're beat up everywhere. But this team's got to find a way to regroup, and put it behind them, fix the things that need to be fixed, play against your division rival on Thanksgiving, and and um, you know give everything you got and and be one hundred percent as far as like your game plan. You got to execute. You got to stay in that game. And you know as long as we're in a game, we have the opportunity to run. Where we're not one dimensional. I feel like we have a chance to win all these games. But when you get behind the way we did today. Uh, you really don't have much of a chance, especially with the weather conditions where the wind, it was really windy at MetLife Stadium. And that happens in the Northeast during this time of year. So that's not an excuse. Um, but the Giants just didn't get it done today. And there is no, there is no excuse. They just were not good enough. Uh, too many turnovers, too many missed tackles, bad special teams. Like I said, every facet, all three phases of the game, Detroit beat us down pretty good. And again, man, last year, you know, I'd be screaming and yelling and, and everything else, getting really pissed off. And, and just because it was more frustration over the last five years, I know where this team is. I know what this team is. They've been a pleasant surprise for me. But at the same time, when you're seven and two and you're looking at Detroit at home, it's disappointing. Like I haven't been disappointing in losses because normally the last few years I've gone into these games thinking we were going to lose. Well, this one was one I definitely thought we were going to come out with a victory, and, and I definitely thought this was a team that we could beat seeing as we were home, and they did not have a really good defense, and they have not played well outdoors uh, most of the year. But they were way better than us today, and it showed in the final score. So, unfortunately, man, the Giants dropped a 7-3, quick turnaround against Dallas, and hopefully we can find a way to um, – like, I don't know how we're going to do it. But that's for the coaching staff to decide. Uh, one thing I can say is this, man. Sometimes, you know, I, I know Tim has said this, and I don't know. I mean, I don't know if this is true, you know, but maybe the Giants believe their hype a little bit. I know Tim said they got a little cocky. Maybe maybe they were. Maybe they're feeling themselves a little bit too much. Maybe they maybe they did take Detroit for granted. Maybe they are believing their own hype at seven and two. And when you do that, as soon as a team believes their own hype, man, you're in trouble. So sometimes you might need to get smacked in the mouth. You might need to be humbled a little bit to kind of bring you back down to reality. Say we're, we're not there yet. We're not good enough to take people for granted and overlook them. It, it just for a big divisional game on Thanksgiving. So maybe it, maybe it does. Maybe it grounds them a little bit. Maybe they did get, I don't know. I'm not in the locker room, not in their heads. I don't know. But like I said, the human element, man, sometimes these are things that people don't consider when you're talking about a team, the intangibles, the psychology, and there's a lot of other things that go into it just in the physicality of football. But uh, they definitely look distracted today, and they were very sloppy, definitely the sloppiest they've been all year, and it cost them big time um, in this game. So anyway, that's all I got in this video. Thank you guys and girls for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you made it 15 minutes, you're an absolute trooper. 
Please like, please subscribe, ring the bell. I'll be live for the Lakers tonight. Come by and talk about the Giants, but I will be live for that. And, of course, we'll have our therapy session Monday, tomorrow night. Anyway, it's all I got uh, for today, Enjoy in this video, rather. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Enjoy the rest of the games, and I will see you tonight for the Lakers. It's Bad Diggy Dizzle. I'm out. Peace.